Not So Average Builder is sponsored by USAGundamStore.com, bringing the hobby to your front door. Use promo code NOTSOAVERAGE to get 10% off your entire order. Hey guys, Tom here and this is Not So Average Builder. This week is going to be a very short video or semi-short video that doesn't really go into a lot of detail on things. As you all know, tomorrow is Christmas Day. The day where all of the model builders get a gift from Father Christmas, Santa, or whatever you call him where you're from. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I have received from my awesome sponsors. Some of which I bought, others were sent to me to review, but I'm gonna go over what I got from usagundamstore.com first. Or the, the USA Gundam Store order is what I partially ordered and partially was sent to me. Put this up here, it's a big box. So I will just pull out the contents as we go along, starting with the biggest. So I threw this in here. I wanted to try and build a crossbone. I know everybody's doing the real grade, but I figured what the heck, it's 30 bucks. I'll do it. We have got some Mr. Weathering color. These are oil-based uh, washes that I'm going to be using with the thinner. Uh, that'll be pictured here. I don't have it. I had to order it. So, but that's that. If you're in the market for some new nippers, these are some of the things that USA Gundam Store sent me. So I got sent these, I got sent this, I purchased this, and the other thing that I was sent was this. So I've not messed with the Hobby Zone products, but I've heard really good things about them. This is a, I think the four drawer module or a six drawer module, but you build, and it's made out of some sort of wood, but you build the module and they are interconnectable. So you can have multiple ones and create a whole little workstation. So that's one of the things that was sent to me to review. So that'll, there'll be a video coming up on this very soon. Now on to the things that I bought. So I bought the crossbone, bought some Tamiya basic putty and some Mr. Hobby dissolved putty. These are going to come a, in part in seam filling or something that sprue goo or the Tamiya extra thin won't fix. This is going to make your life a lot easier. So I'll be doing a video on this soon. But the real reason that I placed the order that I did was for this. So what these are, are multitude of sanding sticks or sanding use tensils. So this ranges from, and I would have gotten all the same brand, but they were out of some, starting with 300 to 400 to 600 to 800. What these are going to help me do is make the kits look more professional. So the, the racer kit will do good for uh, removing seam or nub marks. It doesn't do as good for seam lines and that's okay. You always need your sanding utensils. What this is going to do though, is going to prep your parts really, really well for painting. And when I get back into scribing on the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom, those are gonna help out a lot. So this is all the stuff that I picked up from usagundamstore.com. All of what you see here, you can pick up there as well. I know, shameless plug. Uh, don't forget that you can use my promo code not so average to get 10% off your next order. So something else you can get, let me put this stuff away. So something that I was sent from the good guys over there at Simp. So I reached out to them because I've got a project coming up and I just wanted to see, ask a question. Well, uh, when he got back to me, he wanted me to review a bunch of products. Something I've not done in a long time and I'll go further into detail on these when I get ready to do the video. But we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you what all the awesome people at Simp sent me, or Simpro Models. We're going to start off with Photo Etch. All that is Photo Etch that's going to be going on kits. Now I will touch on this really quick. For those of you that have ever used Photo Etched parts, 
there's something that sets Simpro apart from other ones. So when you get your photo etched sprue, it's just like a regular sprue, you have to cut those off. There's little nubs. So these are laser cut into the metal. But if you look around those rings, there's no piece that you have to cut off. So what they've done is they've put an adhesive backing on here. So you pull the piece off and stick it where you need to go. Of course, with super glue or something along those lines, but you don't have to worry about damaging your part by trying to cut the sprue out and sanding it down. So kudos to you, Sim. That was awesome. I've never used your, your photo etch before, but I'm definitely going to from now on. And just in case you're wondering, you can also get those at usagundamstore.com. Now, for the next thing that we got, we've got some pipe details for Zaku in varying sizes. We've got some Zaku spikes. And for those that you know what the upcoming build that I have with Ragtag Daydreams, uh, these are going to go on there. So I'm kind of excited about that. But we've got a lot of little metal details that we can use on kits. That is all that Simp sent me. So I can't wait to do a, an entire video dedicated to metal upgrades on your kits. And that will be something I will definitely be doing soon because, I mean, look at all this photo etch. Look at all this fun stuff to mess around with. These are going to be things that are going to be on the kits that are going to make them look epic. And if you buy resin kits, most of the time, like full on resin kits, you get uh, photo etch details in there. And Simp, if I'm not mistaken, also does the same thing. But I don't know if they do what these do. And if they do, where there's no sanding required, holy crap, they're a game changer. One last thing that I got, and this was my Secret Santa in Model Makers Boom Hut on Facebook. Go to facebook.com forward slash Model Makers Boom Hut. Uh, don't mind the box. It did come from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. And... Uh, they they apparently decided to use it as a chewing toy for somebody but it is the real grade justice gundam that i can't wait to build so not only did i get one gundam i got two i've got the justice and now i've got the master grade crossbone i also have the real grade sasabi and the new gundam so my backlog is getting kind of uh kind of full and i need to really work on it plus i've got some other projects i need to work on so i'm going to get those done by the beginning of the year so these coupled together, I think that I can finally use these just for, for bulk cutting, uh, cutting up sprues or any other uh, thicker material that I'm not worried about. And these will be my detail covers or detail cutters. But these are USA Gundam Store branded nippers. And I did get to play around with them a little bit and they do extremely well. So these could be a God hand equivalent and they're considerably cheaper so keep that in mind but you can pick up all of what i've shown you on usagundamstore.com all of it all the photo etched the metal upgrades everything that i ordered for directly from usa gundam store you can pick up you can even pick up the justice gundam that's not where i got it but that's okay and remember don't forget to use promo code not so average to get 10% off that order. So, boom! I get no money from that. It's just a cool way for Adam and the crew at USA Gundam to track uh, who's using my code and, you know, that I'm doing a decent job of uh, letting the world know that they exist and they sell this awesome stuff. Now, Simpro you can also get at your local hobby town. So, if you don't want to go through USAGundamStore.com, Simpro has a deal with Hobby Town USA. And maybe not all of it's available there, but you can get it at your local hobby town. Now my code won't work, that's not a big deal, but that is another venue that you can go to to get Simpro's amazing products. So not only do they make resin, they also have this awesome, awesome metal upgrade sets, including photo etched for your Gundams, for yours. Ooh. I'm gonna keep this video kind of short guys, because 
It is Christmas. I want to go spend time with my family. I apologize that I was not able to get a better video. I'm literally shooting this on Tuesday night. Uh, had a bunch of stuff going on before. That's okay. I will get back on a regular schedule next week and we will get this done. Hopefully next week we will finish the Sasabi rifle. I'll get it painted up. Since now I have my sanding supplies from USA Gundam store. They came in, they were supposed to come in on the 27th or 28th and they decided to come in yesterday. I'm just now getting around to making the video because we went and saw Star Wars today. So if you've not seen that, I highly go out and recommend to go see it. It was pretty epic if you're a big Star Wars nerd like I am. But that's all guys. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy Holiday. And remember, don't just be an average builder. Be a not so average one. Bye guys.